Alrighty, the final trial. The level which really didn't have any breeding things in it in the first place, so everything in here is new and I still don't remember what's in the Emperor Ball Black's place, although I'm becoming increasingly certain it is a beady long legs. Which I think is probably harder than Emperor Ball Black's. Already the area starts off unusually densely populated, and whoa, we have a hundred Pikmin from the get-go. Forgot about that. Oh yeah, that's actually kind of cool. There are a bunch of Pikmin sprouted everywhere to the point where there are a hundred, which means that my high score of 96 meant I had a net loss in Pikmin overall, which is sort of amusing. But yeah, I like this. It mixes it up a lot less boringly than the other levels, which I guess do not actually mix it up at all. Here, go get worthless pellets. Pop, 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 You didn't pop, you didn't pop, you didn't pop, you didn't pop. There you popped. Yeah, this level, I like it better in the Wistful Wild. This is just too non-linear, and I don't understand what I'm supposed to do for most of the puzzles, so I cheat around them, and I didn't know there was a ball orb over here. You're like a free six pellet or eight pellet or however many Pikmin you give. Except you don't have to match up the colors. Yeah, they probably should have, like, made the pellets auto-go to the right onion just because they're, like, sort of harder to find and less deadly than enemies. I don't know. I'm weird. don't like the pellets, though. I forgot those things took two crushes to be crushed. Okay, 112, not doing terrible. You jerk, stay over there. I'm gonna go beat up some bugs that can't defend themselves. Yeah. I'm sure those male shear grubs would have eaten some Pikmin, though, so. Not a bad deal. They're like, what, one Pikmin each? Oh, hey, those Pikmin are festering. I guess technically the term is growing into bulbs and flowers, but I like festering. Not sure why it gives me yellows over here, probably a cruel joke. Let's take my five blues over to the blue area, and do I have to do anything with bomb rocks in this? I seem to recall bomb rocks being pleasantly left out of this. I forget if Pikmin 2 still has this. Can you, like, momentum chuck your Pikmin? Because that part I actually like to this. I think it does have it, and if it doesn't, it's still better than this. Okay, reds, do you have... Yeah, I'm never really sure what the reds increased strength entails. Do they, like, bust down bridges faster, too? Maybe, is my thought. They're basically the most useful type to have a lot of, I think, anyway. I mean, blues are good because they can explore more stuff than anything else, because they can go in friggin' water, but... In the same vein, I was horribly biased towards the color red when I was a kid, which is a weird thing to be biased towards, but I was, so... I'm going to totally be unfair and say that reds are the best. Yellows always seem useless. Maybe it's just because they're thrown weird and it confuses me and I always get them killed when I ever use them in battle and using them in battle is a pretty important part of Pikmin and maybe that's also the reason I like reds so much more than the other colors because they are good in battle. And how do I get up there from this? Oh cool. Sort of surprised that worked. Surprised I didn't pull up like one... Uh, bud one and prevent it from flowering to lots of amazing things happening this recording session. Remember folks, you can only see it here on the channel Cthulhu -E -G -D -D. I mean, what? I'd like to think my disinterest in everything I do is charming. So, it seems almost pointless to get pellets or corpses or anything in ch a challenge mode where I'm already given a hundred Pikmin on the field and I can't really reap my spoils, but 
When Pikmin die, it's actually a lot easier to have them come out of the onion than... Okay, does this work? Didn't think it would. And does whistling them at that point just doom them further? Ooh, the sod knows. And how did that kill you? You had, like, a couple hit points after that. Great, only 75 on the field now, or 78 on the field now. That means I lost, uh, 22. Drowny Joe, you basically deserve to drown at this point. How do I get up here? Level is too friggin' confusing, and the presence of a bomb rock door makes me just not care about it anymore, because those are the most retarded things I hate them so much. <laughs> And of course, now you spew out worthless seeds that take up hours of my precious time to collect. Can I get over there? Of course not. Why would I be able to get over to the ledge? Pikmin 3 should totally have a jumping power-up that doesn't actually become useful because all the ledges you're not supposed to get to anyway would be out of your jumping height. There'd probably be a glitch that you can get to them, or you can get to the jumping ledges without actually having the jumping boots. And everyone would hate Nintendo for being bad and by which I mean blindly accept the game and love it and yell at me for being overly critical of it because I acknowledge that it is not a perfect game. Yeah, that's probably the gist of it. I mean, they, at this point, they could probably, like, do Wii Sports with Pikmin characters in it and people would herald it as the best game of all time, I think, by now the gaming industry is just all hype and no one plays the games, they just... Oops, by that I mean entire human culture of media and blah blah blah, I have controversial views, love me. Okay, I need to get like a hundred friggin' flower yellows, which doesn't seem very possible at this point. I also think this has a faster timer like the landing site, I don't know. Doesn't seem like I've spent quite as much time in this as I have, or I was in the distant spring. Alright, yeah, that thing. Forgot about it. That always seemed like a bit of a glitchy thing in the first place, and in the first... Yeah, I think you can, like, toss them up there and sort of just... Maybe you're supposed to do that. I never really... I don't know, I'm just gonna do it the way that won't involve accidental Pikmin genocide, because if that last score taught me anything, it's that I'm probably going to accidentally genocide my Pikmin in this level like I do in all levels. I mean, if anything, I'm gonna get to the BD Long Legs fight and just die, and it'll if I somehow manage to kill it, it'll be too late for me to actually collect any of its rewards. I don't know, maybe I'm pessimistic, but pessimists are usually right, so whatever. This part always seemed glitchy to me, I feel like I'm doing something wrong. And of course, yeah, the flowers stopped being flowers and went back to leaves. That, I don't really get that, I mean... Sort of what I was gonna say, it sort of seems fair, but now it just sort of seems like a slap in the face to people who want to multitask. This game is just a nightmare to manage. <laughs> 